A commutator is a quick way to move around a few pieces. For example, three corners or three edges. First, I'll teach you how to do a three corner commutator. First, find a piece that can be solved in one move. This will be called the interchange. This piece here can be solved to here in one move like that. Your interchange move cannot affect all three pieces at once. So this is our interchange move, and to make things easier, hold the interchange move on the bottom. So the interchange move is D. These two pieces are in the interchange layer, so I'll call this one the odd piece. For the odd piece, pick any sticker on it, and remember where it has to go on the place it belongs. For example, if I pick yellow on this sticker, I have to remember that it goes here, where this green sticker currently is. Or if I picked red, I have to remember that it goes here, where this red sticker currently is. All right, now we can solve this three cycle with two possible methods. Method one is to interchange and then solve the odd piece. All right, so we do the interchange first, which is D. Now the place that the odd one belongs is over here because this piece is moved. So we'll know the odd one is solved when this red sticker is where this red sticker is. An example of something you cannot do is just this. And that is because the interchange layer must be fully preserved except for that one piece. And we've broken some pieces here. So instead to get this one in here, we can do it kind of like in F2L where you lift up the bottom, move this in and put this back down. Now the rest of the interchange layer is preserved. All right, once you've done that, I've put these in commutator notation. And what that means is after doing this and doing that, we're going to reverse each of them in the same order. So the reverse of D is D prime and the reverse of L prime UL is L prime U prime L. And that solves the cycle. Method two is solve the odd one and then reverse the interchange. So the odd one can be solved to here by facing green and doing L prime U two L, which preserves the interchange layer. Next, reverse the interchange. So it was D, now I'll do D prime. Then just reverse each of them. So the reverse of the first one is L prime U two L and the reverse of the second one is D. For three edge cycles, we follow the same rules. Solve one piece using an interchange move. In this case, I can solve the white blue piece using M prime and that puts it in its right spot. So in this case, the interchange is a slice move. That is only one possibility and there are times when your interchange will not be a slice move. This one is not in the interchange layer, so this is the odd piece. Find any sticker on the odd piece and determine where it belongs. So this is green and of the green white. So here's the green white location and it goes here. So I'll remember that this green sticker needs to go where this white sticker is. Okay, method one is do the interchange and then solve the odd one. So the interchange is M prime. And now I solve the odd one, but without disturbing anything else in the M slice, besides that one piece where it needs to get solved to. So something that almost works is L2U. It solves the piece to the correct spot because the green has replaced the white sticker, but this piece in the M slice has moved. So it moved by U, so I can just do a U prime to start. And then I do the same moves, L2U. Now the M slice is preserved and this piece is here. All right, then reverse and reverse. So M and then U prime L2U. All right, now method two, solve the odd one, then reverse the interchange. So to solve the odd one, this green one needs to go here. So I could do it with L prime F, but again, that disturbs the interchange slice. So since the move that messed that up was F, I can do F prime to start, and then I can move this in. Now reverse the interchange being M prime. So now I'll do M, then reverse and reverse. F prime, R prime F and M prime. In this example, there is no slice move that can solve any of these pieces, but U solves this one. So U is my interchange move. This piece is not in the interchange layer, so it is the odd piece. And I remember one sticker on it. I can remember this white one belongs where this white one is. Method one is interchange and then solve the odd piece. So the interchange is U. Now I need to solve this piece over to here without disturbing anything else in the U layer. And if you're doing an edge cycle where your interchange move is not a slice, then you'll have to use a slice here to achieve this. In this case, if I'm facing orange, how I can do this is R prime, then move this here with E and then R. Then just reverse the first part, so U prime, and reverse this part, so R prime, E prime, R. All right, can you figure out method two for this one? The answer is in the description. So here I have an A perm and I've labeled the stickers so that if one ends up where two is, it will be solved. And two belongs at three, three belongs at one. So if I try to solve one piece in one move, for example, two to three like this, then it moves all three. They're all in the interchange layer, and that is not okay. If I tried to solve two to three like this, well, that doesn't end up in the right spot because two should end up on here. So it turns out there's no one move interchange possible, which means we'll have to do a setup move. And this is called a conjugate. So there's a variety of setup moves you could use here. For example, if I started with R prime, then now I have a one move interchange to move two to three like this, and it doesn't affect one. So I could just do a commutator here and then undo that. But I'll show you the reasoning behind why an A perm works. So the setup move we'll choose here is actually going to be R2. And now we have a one move interchange from two to three, but we'll actually use the one move interchange from one to two. So if I do D2, then one shows up where two was. So for here, you could use method one or method two, but the A perm follows method one. So that means first we do the interchange, so D2. 
three belongs at one, and so I need to get this one over to here. And if you know the a prime, you know it's going to be r u r prime. And just keep in mind that something like l prime u prime l here wouldn't work because three is now in the wrong spot. Okay, so r u r prime, and then I'm going to reverse that and reverse that. So reverse is d2, and the reverse of the next part is r u prime r prime. Then I undo the setup move in the beginning, so r2. Yay, now you know how an a perm works. So here we have 1 and 2, and they interchange in one move, and they don't affect 3, so that's perfect. But if you tried to do a commutator for this, inserting 3 into 1 or 2 is very, very hard. In fact, if you actually tried to do this commutator, you would need to do this, which is 16 moves. So an example setup move you could do is U. And if you try this, it doesn't really look any better now, but now we can interchange 3 and 1. So 3 and 1 have an interchange, 2 is the odd one. Can you figure out a commutator for this that beats 16 moves? The answer and many more examples will be in the description. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.